Oh, that's for sure, Daniela. We're in the Hunters Creek subdivision, East Harris County, Baytown to be exact tonight. And just across I-10, we're practically on the doorstep of that plant you're talking about, a plant that before all this, just in March, was fined by the federal government. In some ways, it's just part of life if you live near a plant. But there are those days, the days that kind of scare you for a minute. It was different. The whole sky was black. It was billowing, just billowing black. Tuesday, a much larger than usual flaring event. That's when excess chemicals are burned off. In this case, at the Chevron Phillips Cedar Bayou facility, an unscheduled safety mechanism, a necessary response to a sudden power outage. This facility has already been approached by the Department of Justice over severe uh, violations to the Clean Air Act. In March of this year, the Department of Justice fined Chevron Phillips $3.4 million and the company agreed to update pollution control devices here. And while Tuesday's event did not produce imminently dangerous air quality readings in the area, TCEQ was notified by the company they likely exceeded their permit limits again. And the state's characterization that it happened in an area that is not populated is not exactly true, say both activists and residents. Whether it's a lot or a few people, people are still affected. So reports saying that it's a rural area with no communities is uh, a mischaracterization of the communities that are affected. It's populated all the way around. There is still flaring going on at the plant today, although to a much lesser degree. There's also additional fence line air quality monitoring. TCEQ tells us the readings are basically normal. We're live in Baytown. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News.